Hi, it's Lynette here and thank you for joining me. You can hear there's Russell here. But I'm doing a different kind of empties video today. So it's um, household and cleaning empties. I didn't want to put them through with my um, kind of beauty skincare type empties. But I did have a few items and I thought, you know what? I may as well do a little kind of empties video and just let people know what I think about them. So I filled up the bag. Um, this won't be a monthly thing. <laughs> hope not anyway as I hope I don't go through as much <laughs> cleaning products in a month so this is over a couple of months that I've kept it here and what prompted it was there was quite a few items that ran out at the same time um so I thought I could do a wee empties video so I hope you enjoy it we'll see if you know if this is the kind of video that people want to watch then I can continue doing it but if it's not then yeah I won't bother so the first items that I'm going to pull out the bag I actually have two. I finished two. Um, so it's Silit Bang Active Foam Soap Scum and Shine. Now it says two times faster coverage. Um, I picked them up from Home Bargains. So what I like about them, right, is that it does actually, the spray does cover a large area quite quickly and um, you, you do just kind of, I think you can leave it a little bit longer. So it says here, yeah, shake well, hold the can upright, spray about 30 to 40 centimetres from the surface, wait two minutes to allow the foam to penetrate, up to 10 minutes for tougher stains, rinse with water or wipe with a damp cloth for tougher, tougher, space, blah, 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 tougher stains, wipe the cap and can clean after use and store in a dry place. Now, I find that when there was times that I just wanted to give the bathroom kind of like a quick freshen up, um, so it gets like a good scrub regularly, but you know, maybe through the week when I just wanted to give it a quick freshen up, um, this stuff is brilliant. I would say, however, <laughs> if you've had a six year old all week using your bath bombs, you really do still need to use this and give it a good scrub. Now it doesn't last the longest um, if, if you're using it on a big bathtub, um, but what I liked about it was just for quickness in the shower, um, and just to kind of give the bathroom a quick, the, especially the bath, just a quick freshen up. I, I wouldn't actually replace my regular kind of bathroom cleaning products, but this done for the days where I just wanted to spray it and give it a quick um, rinse down. Um, so yeah, I would recommend those. I think it's about £3 a can. It doesn't last too long, so it's not very um, cheap in terms of how much use that you get out of it, but I do like them just for that quickness as I say. So the next item is stuff that you will always see these in <laughs> in my um, hauls because I have got a thing about mixing washes. Um, <laughs> I'm really OCD with my washing so there's you know so there's like a towel wash, there's a bed and wash, there's a white wash, there's a dark wash, there's a green and blue wash, there's a red and orange, there's a stripy top wash but even in, in those washes that I separate, I use a colour catcher. Now this is Dr Beckman and there was 50 sheets and um, I picked this up when it was an Aldi on offer. Absolutely fantastic, but any brand does the job. So looking at that t-shirt there, right, even the most expensive brands aren't always colour fast. When you pop them in the washing machine, you do risk them running. Um, a top like that, so for example, a new top like that, I would wash on its own with one of these. Um, I know it's not the great use of um, water and it's not great for the environment, but I would be really nervous of something like that. So I know now, you know, here's the stripy t-shirt wash, but I would never put something that was bright red and white in with the other stripe. I'm just like that anyway. So I'm blethering on, but these are fantastic. Um, but any colour catchers for me work really well. Um, toilet duck, fresh action gel, dazzling petals, fights lime scale, even under the rim. Limited edition this one was. Um, smells absolutely amazing. It was kind of like a purple colour when it came out. I thought it was going to be quite pink, but it was purple. Yep, just use this midweek. Um, I do put bleach down the loo, but I kind of use this sometimes just going around to freshen it up, as I say. Um, these next items I had for ages um, and I don't use them terribly often but it's they're from Asta and they're tumble dryer sheets in moonflower and lavender I think my mum gave me these I mean they do smell lovely but um, yeah it's not something that I would put in every every load 
but sometimes if I'm doing a whole load of towels and I've not managed to get them outside, I'll pop them in. And once you've used them, they do something shovel up, but they're supposed to be really good dusters because they attract the dust because they've been around the tumble dryer. I don't know, there's physics involved that I don't understand. But um, yeah, they're, they're good for wiping down surfaces and mirrors once you've put them in the tumble dryer. Now, I've got two of these. Now, I was one for always buying kind of Ariel or Surf um, soap powder, but as the boys kind of got older, really just this year, um, and I'm not dealing with really bad stains, I thought I was just going to try these from Aldi, and they're brilliant. So this is a two-in-one gel. It's called Alma, 28 washes, and the Good Housekeeping Institute approves of it. Um, brilliant clean, even on a cold wash and a kind of lavender and chamomile detergent with fabric softener. So what you do is it, it kind of tells you if you've got a hard, your hard water area. So we're soft in Scotland. So it tells you how much you need. So actually for soft water areas, you only need 30 mils for even heavy soiling. Um, so medium's the same and hard water is 35 mils. So what you do is you, it's cruelty free as well. <laughs> just for the price. So here's the dosing cup um, that you actually get with it. So yeah, you put the dosing cup in the back of the washing. Now, for some reason, my <laughs> manual dexterity has gotten worse. Um, my hand-eye coordination isn't the best. So quite often, trying to put this in the washing machine, I've spilt it on the floor and <laughs> I've got a tiny little utility area. It's, honestly, it's embarrassing calling it a utility room because it's not, it's, well, it's got a door and so it is a room, but um, it's tiny. But um, yeah, I'm always spilling it on the outside of the washing machine, but it's fantastic, two in one. And um, yep, what can I say? I would repurchase them. Really good price, really cheap, and they really do the job. So. These are antibacterial household wipes. Now, I don't use them for things like just dusting down, um, you know, wiping down the kitchen. I use a spray for that and a cloth, but I tend to use these for the toilet. Um, I'll spray my bleach spray on the toilet and I'll clean it up with this, just saving putting a cloth near it and saving like having to bin a cloth afterwards. I'm really quite yeah, so these these are much kind of better than having to bend one of these little J cloths, which is what I was doing before. I would clean the bathroom with the J cloth, do the toilet last, and then bend the cloth. So this means I just use a couple of a couple of wipes, um, my bleach, and I can give it a wipe with that. However, bend them. Do not flush them down your toilet, otherwise you will have a massive um, plumbing bill, and they're terrible for the environment when you put them down the toilet. So don't flush. Um, so there we go. They do smell nice. And they are great if you just want to do a quick wipe. Um, I've got white doors and for some reason, it, well not for some reason, just plainly because of white I think, the amount of dust that it attracts. So I use them just to wipe it down. I did try and use them on the floor but it leaves a sticky residue. So I don't use them on the floor anymore. So this is um, a thick bleach. I mean, what can you say about bleach? It's citrus fresh and um, power force cruelty free and that was from Aldi so that was really cheap as well and it's really thick good quality bleach the next item I've got is the Astonish bathroom cleaner tough and soap scum watermarks and lime scale and it's vegan as well <laughs> I don't know what makes it vegan anyway so this is a really good um, bathroom cleaner I just love trying different brands and different things cleaned the bathroom nicely. Again, I would use that on days where I wanted to give the bath a proper scrub. Um, <clears throat> I do tend to use Silic Bang bleach and hygiene in the bathroom. Um, <clears throat> I picked this up from Aldi. It's Premium Magnum. Um, what's the word? <laughs> what's it called? It's like fairy liquid, washed up liquid. Um, I always buy fairy, but I picked this up. I did a good job. It was really quite thick as well, um, cruelty free, and it says overnight powerful soak. Yeah, I can't say I was disappointed. I would say it was as good as fairy. Um, I liked, I go through, Steve just says I just like pour it in. I am terrible for that, but um, yeah, it was reasonably priced, it was under a pound. Um, I would buy it again, yeah. I usually tend to get the massive fairies when they're on offer and decant it. So, 
this is why I thought I, I was going to enjoy doing these types of empties as well. This is, I got this from Poundland. It's Papaya Paradise Sweet and Fruity Scented Room Spray. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, I don't know if there's still any kind of smell left. There is. It's just so fresh. Now, papaya is not overly sweet. It says it's sweet and fruity, but it's not sickly sweet. It's just, I, do, I kept it in the little on suite in, um, in my bedroom and I would just give it a wee spray every now and again in my bedroom and it just honestly left it feeling so fresh. Um, so yeah, when I get back to Poundland, I will be picking up some of that. And this is um, a little, um, it was a reed diffuser. I took the sticks out because they were cardboard. And what happened with the cardboard is it really soaked up the the liquid, and it almost turned it turned the white straws um, orange. And um, so this was drumstick squashes. To be honest with you, you could smell it initially, but it kind of lost its scent. Um, it wasn't something, I'd, and it wasn't that I'd go into the room and I was just so used to smelling it. I just wasn't the most um, overly. I don't know what the word is. The scent wasn't very strong. Uh, initially, when you opened it, you could smell it. And even doing that, I can't, I'm getting no hint, even though I've cleaned it, I'm getting no hint of the, the squashes that were in there. But I got them from cherries, they were a pound or two pounds. So it, it was worth a try. The Parma Violet one, my husband said to me, our own sweet always smells of Parma Violet. And I was like, I don't know what that is. He said, it must be something you're using. Is it your body cream? And then I remembered, I had one of these tucked in the corner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a parma violet one so yeah that explained why every time we went in he was like it smells like parma violets in here <laughs> so anyway guys let me know is this something that you want to see i will include reed diffusers i will include candles that i've used as well as cleaning products and bits and pieces from around the house that i just don't think fit in um anywhere else if you're interested let me know if you think it was a waste of time and you don't want me to do it again be honest and let me know so anyway guys thank you for watching and i'll speak to you soon bye